Hey, it's me, the king, and I'm bringing you a side-by-side -side quick review. This is going to be a short review. This is not going to be one of those, oh my gosh, for crying out loud, why are you putting in so much detail kind of reviews that you sit there and you think, why did I just waste a portion of my life watching so much detail that was worthless? Uh, like my card here, these shoes are used. When I say used, I bought them brand new, but this is not an unboxing where you see something, sh a slick, shiny pair of shoes come straight out of the box. This is a review where both these shoes have had some real life experience by me, the wearer. And I also wanted to let you know, this is not a, a, a real head to head side by side competition in the sense there are similarities with these shoes, but there are differences too. And I wanted to follow up on another video that I made uh, in reference to the Brooks Brothers Golden Fleece shoes, which I don't really even know why I'm doing this video because I don't think they even make them anymore. I bought them a couple, few months, about two, three months ago, four months ago, and and I looked on their site and I don't even see them out there. So it makes me think that maybe they've stopped. And I'm not really all that interested enough in trying to Google and find out whether they're ever going to make them again or not. And, I wouldn't waste your time either in trying to find that out. If, they, if you see them again, so be it. If you don't, eh, there's other shoes out there, okay? So anyway, uh, this is Alan Edmonds here. Brooks Brothers. I like this Brooks Brothers box. It's, I think, a little bit nicer. But uh, anyway, I bought these shoes. I ordered burgundy. You can see my review on that. And these kind of peanut brittle cognac uh, shoes came in. So I was going to send them back. They're good looking shoes. Uh, I was going to send them back and I decided to keep them. And the reason that I was going to send them back is I thought they looked too similar to this pair of Allen Edmonds shoes that I have. Now these Brooks Brothers shoes are made in Italy. Of course the Italians are known for their high quality shoes and good footwear making. This pair of shoes here from Allen Edmonds was made in the United States. And I don't know if that makes a difference for you. I know we've probably got worldwide viewers here. Uh, by the way, this is not a paid endorsement on either one of these products here. I am getting no money whatsoever for uh, this review. It's just I'm sharing my knowledge so that uh, you all can benefit from that. I wish I were getting paid from it or for it and I uh, wish I were getting some free shoes from the manufacturers, but that's not the way it works in this case. So uh, there are similarities. They're different in the sense that this pair of shoes here with the Brooks Brothers, it has perforation, or has, has these little holes here on the cap toe, and so does the Allen Edmond shoe, but it's also got what they call a medallion uh, here on the front too. I didn't know what that was called until a few months ago when I saw one of these videos, I've been wearing shoes like this for the last several decades and and uh, never knew that that's what they were called. It doesn't really matter. Who cares? Uh, but anyway, uh, these are the two shoes side by side. I like this uh, Brooks Brothers. I like this kind of rubber sole here in that's uh, uh, built into the leather. And uh, it it's a nice pair of shoes. So is the uh, Allen Edmonds. I have no uh, complaint about the quality here. The only problem that I've had with Allen Edmonds, and I've, I only owe, own two pairs of Allen Edmonds, is the toe box. Uh, they hurt my feet. They, they make uh, my toes sore if I wear these. Um, I've worn this one for many hours from 8 in the morning until 2.30 at night, or 2.30 in the morning, uh, nonstop. Uh, didn't have any problems. That was on the third day that I wore the shoes. And then this other pair here, I can hardly get through uh, a day uh, of wearing these for more than four hours or so before they really start hurting my feet. But that's just me. I know a lot of people love them and a lot they fit a lot of people uh, just right. And I usually never have to go for anything other than the kind of a standard D with. Uh, that's the only beef that I personally have had uh, with these Allen Edmonds. And again, I think the quality is great. Uh, apologies to the manufacturers in the sense that I haven't shined these shoes before giving you the review, but I wanted to show you what they look like. Um, 
you know, in real life. I've, I don't know, I can't tell you how many times I've worn these shoes. You can tell they badly need some, some polish put to them, but I, I really don't know if I'm ever going to wear them again because they do hurt my feet. The Brooks Brothers shoes, I know I'll be wearing those again. And uh, anyway, that's the way uh, the cards are sometimes dealt, you know, when you're buying shoes. And so, uh, thanks for watching The King. And also, subscribe to my channel, please. Can you pretty please? I'd like to get some more of these good videos out there uh, that will give you a little bit of information without wasting your time too much.